Hey everyone, Tommy from TechNexus and thanks for joining me in today's video. Now, it's been a busy few days here since uh, I think it was on Friday when I checked my account, AutoCAD and subsequently Plant 3D 2021 had come out. So I've been having a play around with um, setting up a project in the cloud because now with Plant 3D 2021, we can use BIM 360 docs to collaborate uh, remotely. And obviously in this day and age now, there is a lot of people, a lot of companies looking to collaborate. So if you're one of those who is looking to share your project in the cloud using BIM 360 docs, then this is how it's uh, it's supposed to be done. Now, on the left-hand side here, you can see I've got my uh, Plan 3D session. On the right-hand side, I've got BIM 360 docs open um, to my trial hub with a uh, YouTube demo project. Okay, I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty of, of setting up a project. It's the same whether it's Revit or, or Plant or whatever. So you just set up the project and add users. But you can see here I've got my plans and project files folder and we're going to create a project in here. So now I'm just going to, what you have to do is set up a new project uh, and I'll call it uh, YouTube demo uh, and give it a date 2020-04-01. Just call it YouTube demo in the, in the description. You can save it anywhere you want because ultimately it's going to get deleted later anyway. So I'm just going to put it on C drive, uh, do a metric project, pip, next. Uh, now, it doesn't, well, I mean, you only need to do it as SQL Server because the the docs or um, BIM 360 design docs, whatever you want to call it, handles all of the databases up up in the cloud. So you don't have to set it up as, as multi-user SQL Server. It's all done as SQL Lite. Um, we're not using Vault, so you don't need to worry about SQL Server name or any other authentication issues. It's just going to be SQ Lite. Okay, and then I'm just gonna click Finish and let that create. So what we've just done there is created a new project that I intend to share online um, it's got nothing in it, and the whole idea of today's video is to, to create a project in there, create a drawing uh, or a model, and then show you what happens up on the cloud side. Now, you can do this also with an existing project. So up here, you can just, uh, under the project manager, you can open an existing project and then do the, the same thing with sharing it. So now, we can't collaborate now because there's nothing to collaborate or to, to add. And you can see here, I'm clicking on the collaborate uh, ribbon, nothing is happening. So what we have to do is create a drawing first. So for argument's sake, I'm just gonna uh, create one called piping under the 3D model. It doesn't really matter where you add it, is if it's a pin ID or, or a 3D side, um, it's just going to be here, uh, under here called piping. Okay, so once that's done, and I'll just let Plant 3D finish off doing its thing. So here I can now collaborate. So the collaborate button is active to me. Before you collaborate, I just wanna have a look at the options because this could affect future projects as well. Okay. So under the collaborate tab, there's a button there called options and you get this small dialogue here. So check for updates is really whatever you want it to be, five, 10, 15 hour manually, whatever. Check out drawings. So the drawings will be checked out when the drawing is opened. So that means that if I check it out here, then if I've got a colleague in Sydney or, or Auckland or Singapore uh, or the US or Europe or whatever, it's marked as being opened by me, okay? Then you've got an option, the two options there is, is when it's opened or manually, I like to leave it as when it's open so that it's done automatically. Check in when drawing is closed. So you've got three options here to check them back in when it's saved, when it's closed or manually. Again, personal preference, you could probably just say uh, when it's closed or manually, um, I'm just gonna do it manually so I can check them back in when I'm ready. Now, the last directory here is in my opinion, vital because by default, Plant 3D will put the collaboration cache under C drive. Now, a lot of computers these days have quite small uh, SSDs or NVMe drives for their C drive. So 
Um, the more projects you do, the more that cache directory will fill up. This uh, particular laptop, the MSI that I've got, has a secondary drive on the on the D drive. So I'm pushing that to be D drive collaboration. So that way my cache is on D drive instead of C drive. Okay, so keep that in mind. If you've got really small um, OS drives, then maybe change it to a different one. Okay, now the whole the way this whole thing works is when I upload it, it's going to upload it to the cloud and it's going to have a, a, a local cached copy on my local PC. That happens with every project. Okay, so in theory, at the nitty gritty of it, you're one person working on one project, one file in one project on your PC the whole time. If people are logging onto the project through Plant3D in another location, they will get a notification to say that you've got it checked out and they can't do anything with it. They might be able to open it, but it, it'll be read only if that. So there's nothing like you don't you don't need to set up a SQL server on your PC. You don't need to set up a uh, SQL server on your server in the office. You don't need to do anything. It's all just off your C drive or D drive or whatever, wherever it is that you're working from. Okay, so make sure you have a look at that as well before you sort of get too deep into it. You can change it later, obviously, too. So now I have my YouTube demo project with one file in it, and I want to share that project. So now I just click on Share Project. And if you've got the license for BIM 360 Design, you will get this dialog box here. If you don't have the license, you'll get a uh, like, kind of like an error dialog that will say, subscribe to BIM 360, yada, yada, yada. Okay. So once it's all happy with the licensing, click on Get Started. Now it tells me I need to close that file. So yep, that's fine. I've got nothing in it. And it's going to say, now it's going to look at all of the, the hubs that I've got. So in this list, we should see YouTube demo. Okay, so that all works there. And then I click on Upload Project. So what that's going to do is grab all the files create them in BIM 360 and I'm on NBN here so it shouldn't be too bad for speed okay if I click refresh a couple times you might see that directory get created okay so you can see there there's that YouTube demo project so I'll just give it a few more seconds. So we've got 15, 16 seconds. And if I click inside it, nothing's happened yet, but we give that dialog box, it's a bit of time and it'll make all of the subfolders underneath this YouTube demo 2020-04-01 project. And you can see here, there they are, okay? Now, you're not going to see the databases, okay? All of those files are hidden away. They're doing their thing in the background, whatever it might be. But you can see there might be some text files, some XML files will appear, but the actual DCF files do not appear. So don't think that, uh, you know, you. Um, I don't know what the, what the term might be that you're sort of getting shorted here or you're, you're missing out on it. There's nothing really to miss out on. I mean, you, you don't really want to be, playing around with messing messing up databases and all of that kind of stuff as well anyway. So once that's finished, so we're just, these are uploading the standard specs. So we've got a few files in there. And then if I do have a look under the Plant 3D models, we'll see if it's uploaded. So it's, it's created that piping file and you can see it's a V1. So it's the first version of it. Uh, we obviously haven't done any PNIDs just yet. Uh, no other related files. If I look in the spec sheets folder, you can see uh, all of the specs being created. And you can see these are all the standard out of the box ones anyway. Okay, so almost there. We should be getting to the end. Of, so we've just done PVC piping and these other specs. And you can see as I'm scrolling through, they're all appearing. Okay, 198, 
And we're about to do the last one. Okay, and you can see it's uploading a DCF file, but we're not going to see, we don't see those DCFs in there, even though they are up there. And that will also be on my cache as well. So I'll just give it a second. So we're preparing the local workspace. And while that's going, I'm just going to load up my collaboration folder. And then there's that exact same uh, directory structure there. Okay. And if I sort by type, so you can see we do see the DCF files. Okay. So the XMLs, the DCFs, and the plant 3D models, and that file is in there now. So what I can do is go back to my C drive and I can delete that directory now. I don't need to see that anymore. So to show you what happens now with creating a, a new file. So if I create a new PNID, so I'm just going to go to PNID 0001 and go OK. So what I, what I can do from here is now pan in and just have a look. So there's my uh, new PNID. And you can see over here on the left, it's if I hover my mouse over it, it says not in the server, check in to add it. So what I'm going to do is right click on it and say check in. And here I get the dialog box saying I'm going to check this file in and I want to keep it open for editing and clean up the case if I need to. So I'm just going to go OK just to check it in. Okay, so you give that a few seconds, well, hopefully not minutes, but it should just be a few seconds. And then what we're going to see over here on BIM 360 is that pin ID appear. Okay. So whatever I do here, this is all on my, my own local D drive. If I hover my mouse over it, you can see down here as well, it's on D drive collaboration and we can see it on online as well. If I click on it inside BIM 360, you can see there's my pen ID. Okay, nothing really uh, different, like I said, from the end user standpoint from here. So what I'm gonna do is just leave it at that. And then next week, I'm gonna be in another location. So completely different PC uh, with no cache or anything. And then I'll show you what it would look like from the other users end, which, you know, to give you a bit of a hint, it's not really going to be any different. It's just there's a, you just have to obviously open up a collaboration project. But uh, hopefully this has answered some questions for you for, for Plant 3D uh, and BIM 360 docs on the 2021 version. Uh, as far as I've been told, this will not work on anything before 2021. You can still use BIM 360 Teams on um, 2020 uh, and, not, and previous, but for 2021 and onwards, it's going to be BIM 360 Docs, which you will need to subscribe to BIM 360 Design. So hopefully for all you plant collaborators out there that it's answered your questions. Um, let me know if there are any anything you want to know in the comments below. I'll try and, and get to them as soon as I can. Otherwise, um, I will do a follow-up video next week with, um, you know, working from a different office. But uh, as usual, uh, thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't. But please do subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week for another update on uh, Plant 3D 2021 and BIM 360 Docs. So thanks for watching. See you later.